Hello guys, this is Victor and I'm over here to guide you through the CCMP route class. This course is going to be focused on Cisco 300-101, not the old one that is the 642-902 class that we used to have before. Uh, basically, I'm going to be just talking a little bit about the different topics that we are going to see. I don't want that you start studying right away. I don't want that you start feeling overwhelming because of the material that you're going to see, you're going to feel it's, it's going to be humongous. But I just want to touch it so you're going to have a guide through the whole process of how we are going to be explaining everything to you. I am doing this because I saw some famous teachers or whatever, Jeremy or whatever, that they make you, they usually make you jump directly on the race, like you already know a lot of stuff about CCMP route, and they start talking like you already know, and there is a that you have already been on the race, and you have already know a lot of this stuff. And I think that first of all, you need a guidance you need an index so we, that's why we are doing this part of the video right now because i want you to understand what are the issues that we are going to be talk, talking about and you can go back and check this part of the video so as i mentioned before we're going to dive deeper in the future i want you to check what cisco have to say we're going to jump into the cisco website and i want you to see each one of the topics that they have and how they have that organized and how we are going to approach to that stuff so guys uh, please feel comfortable uh, please enjoy your video and we're going to be talking about this in a few seconds Bye. hello we're going to be uh, discussing about the topics that are going to be included in the ccmp route test so Let's jump into the water. So, it's going to be Cisco 300-101, and the topics is going to be Network Principles, 10%, Layer 2 Technologies, 10%, Layer 3 Technologies, 40%, VPN Technologies, 10%, Infrastructure Security, 10%, and Infrastructure Service, 20%. The place where we're going to be stuck the most of the time is going to be the Layer 3 Technologies that you could see over there. So, network principles. We're going to be talking about Cisco Express for work concepts, the network challenge that we're going to find, the IP operations, what they are talking about, TCP and UDP operations, what they have in common, and what are the different issues that they have between TCP and UDP, and change to the network. This is a basic configuration to the right. Hello, guys. Let's talk a, a little bit about the CCMP router exam. And the topics that you're expecting to get strong by the time that you get to the CCMP route. So, what are the topics, the main topics that we're going to find at the CCMP route exam? Let's check it out. Let's ask this to the person that knows everything in the world. Google. CCMP route. Over here, you're going to see two different topics. 300, 101. 642-902. This one is deprecated. It ended by the end of January 2015. Let's start working with this one. 300-101, and it's going to be the exam that you are going to take, guys. So, let's start jumping on it. And you're going to get in one of the Cisco websites. You are going to, at the bottom of this, and you are going to jump over here and this part and say, Review the exam topics. Excellent. Over here, you, you're going to see a small description of the time, and it's going to be a 120 minutes qualifying. It was 70, 75 minutes before. We fitted these questions, and yes, it is, and the questions are very different from one to another. If you haven't taken an exam, this is probably the exam with the, the hardest exam that you will ever take, because the half is very picky, especially in the format that was configured, so my job is to make sure then you are going to be very prepared for the exam. This part at the bottom is going to say what are the topics that you're going to find at the exam. Then more principles, layer 2 technologies, layer 3 technologies, 
VPN technologies, infrastructure security, and infrastructure service. The first part over here, for example, network principles, you're going to click over here, show details, and you're going to find a couple of issues that we're going to be checking right now. Uh, CEF, Cisco Express Forwarding, Network Challenges, Describing IP Operations, TCP Operations, Describe UDP Operations, I'm going to explain as well the difference between UDP and TCP a little bit later, and recognize changes to the network and what we are going to do. So guys, there is a journey that we're going to have. I hope that you have a great day, and i talk to you a little bit later. Bye, guys. We're going to see over here the layers to technologies. We're talking about configuring and verifying PPP and explain what Relay, relay is and what is that about. So we better understand this concept and we're going to jump into something else. Layer 3 technology. Layer 3 technology, there are several issues over here that we're going to be addressing. This is the part where it's going to take the most of our class. We're going to be talking about IPv4 addressing alternative, the difference between IPv4 and IPv6. We're going to explain how to do the subnetting, what is a static routing, how does it work, the default routing. We're going to be talking about the different protocol types, OSPS, eGRP, e, um, RIP a little bit, and BGP. What is a passive interface? What is VRF light? the configuration of each one of the protocols that I mentioned, the redistribution of how we're going to do the redistribution between the protocols. For example, we got OSPF and IGRP. How does that work? Over here, you're going to see different, in this graphic, you're going to see different areas. And that's how usually how OSPF work. We're going to talk about auto summarization of the protocols. How does that work? What is PBR, police-based routing? What is optimal routing? What are the route maps and how do they work? We're going to configure loop prevention mechanism because we don't want that happens. We're going to configure the network types and we're going to be talking about the network types a little bit later. We're going to see the OSPF path preference, as you can see over here, OSPF path operation and OSPF or IPv6. We're going to configure BGP per authentication a relationship that is a topic that works with security as well. That's the second part of layer three. The third part of, of this class of layer three is going to be the famous EIGRP, and we're going to have EIGRP load balancing. We're going to see, we're going to start working with optim the, optimizing the EIGRP matrix. How does that work? That is an IPv4, IEGRP for IPv6, OSPF packet types, OSPF neighborhood relationship, how does that work? The network types, area types, and router types. The OSPF path preference, OSPF operations, and OSPF for IPv6. We're going to talk about one other protocol, that is BGP, a relationship and authentication. In real life, we don't use that that much. We're going to talk about eBGP, the version for IPv4 and IPv6, and BGP attributes and path selection. That's the aim of layer 3 technology. Now, we are going to be talking about VPN, Virtual Private Network. We're going to talk about GRE. We're going to talk about DM, VPN. And we're going to be talking about the easy virtual networking and the, the, how does that work, especially when you want to have a direct communication. Or for example, you are at home or the world or on the street or another city and you need that VPN technology working for you properly. And this is security. When you're talking about security, we are talking about different layers of security that people need to go through. So for the network, for the computer, for the hypervisor, for the OS, and from the applications, what are the, the, the security that we are going to use? The different layers. Infrastructure security. The iOS AAA using local database, using AAA with TACACs and radios. 
the device access control and we're gonna how to the we're gonna verify rather security features that we have in our network and for example in this graphic you're gonna see that you probably have different locations in different cities or just across the world so how does that connect we're gonna talk about a little bit about infrastructure technology how are you going to configure the device manage management, the SNMP? How are you going to configure the login? How are you going to configure the network trend protocol? That is going to be interesting because it's, I don't think that anybody has been talking about that stuff. And it doesn't look that it's important, but it is to do the proper configuration. The configuration of IPv4 and IPv6 in DACP, the dynamic host control protocol. The configuration of IPv4 network address translation so the communication can go out from your internal uh, I, uh, private network to outside to the internet, for example, the IPv6 NAT, the network hours translation as well, how does that work, SLA architecture, IP SLA, configure the tracking objects, and Cisco NetCore. That's a lot of material to study. So there are a lot of books, and believe me that I have more books than that, and this is going to be yourself. You're going to be jumping, thinking about how you're going to connect all that information, uh, all about the Cisco routers, protocol, features, certification, and a minimum information that is going to be on your mind. I'm going to try to help you out with that because I already went through that stuff. And gentlemen, you're going to need a guide. And we're going to explain a little bit later what are the proper procedures that you're going to need to make sure that you can focus and you can start achieving your your goals getting the CCMP route. We how we're gonna achieve all that stuff. We're gonna achieve that stuff through different small tasks. Small tasks over here, small tasks over there, small tasks in the future till you get that goal. So we're gonna do a segmentation and we're gonna make sure that you can complete each one of them successfully. Just follow me, guys. So how can we make this happens you're gonna be working hard and make sure that that happens give you the keys so eventually you're gonna become a ccmp route professional this is gonna be your results you're gonna be successful achieving your goals as a ccmp route just follow me guys and i hope that it will be interesting for you and i hope that it can encourage you in the future how to achieve your goals. Again, I don't want that all this material will be overwhelming for you because we are going through all these steps one by one, little by little. I hope that it will be entertaining for you and I hope that you enjoy and thank you very much for watching this guys. Have an excellent day. Hello guys, this is Victor and I hope that the whole instruction was useful for you. In case that you have any questions, please be free to let me know. And I'll be more than glad to help you out with this. I'll talk to you a little bit later. And I hope that you enjoy it. And thank you very much for watching this video. Talk to you a little bit later. Bye.